So today marks my favorite part about summer, which is Halloween shopping. Now listen, I know summer is here and people think just because us Halloween lovers love to shop for Halloween that we're, we're trying to rush summer. That's not it at all. I'm gonna be wearing a bikini until September 23rd. That is when fall starts, but they already started pumping out fall stuff. They started pumping out Halloween stuff. And for somebody like me, we use this decor all year round. So I'm gonna take advantage of it. And um, yeah, it's just the best. Like I love summertime and also Halloween. So here we are, it's my two favorite things in one. So today I'll just be solely looking for Halloween stuff. I wanna run to Home Goods, Michaels, and the at home store and just see what they have. Normally, once July hits, and especially after the 4th of July, things just start trickling in. So I just want to see what they have, because if you're not first, you're last. And I like to use some of the stuff as all-year-round home decor. So I just want to see what, what the vibe is, see what's going on. Right now, we're just going in blindly. I don't know what the stores have, so I'm really excited to see what they do have. So come along. Brie is coming with me, and we're just going to... Soak up this nice, beautiful 80 degree weather while also shopping for Halloween decor. So we, well, I already told them that you're coming along for the vlog. Hello. Um, obviously love, this is like our favorite time of the year. I was talking about how I love that this year or this specific time of the year because it's summer, but I also get to enjoy fall hunting. Yes. So it's like two of my favorite things in one. So, and I was like, it's a beautiful 80 degree day. And like, what more could I ask for? What more can I ask for? So we are at, we are at Home Goods, and then um, we're gonna run to Michaels, and then still at Home Store. We'll see, we'll see like how I might change my mind. <laughs> you know, sometimes like we might do two stores, and I'll be like, I don't want to do anything else. You know, some <laughs> for some reason this is exhausting. <laughs> you know what the most exhausting part about shopping is for me? Hmm getting in and out of the car. No. I don't know what it is about that. It, it's like the motion and it could be, maybe I'm like motion. Like I, I mean, you do, sick. you do have motion sickness. So maybe that's part of it. And it's just like the constant getting in and out of the car. Like I hate it. And I think that's why I don't do as many shopping vlogs. Today is looking promising. So we're going to head into home goods right now and hopefully we'll find some good stuff. So Straight like this glitter. is what I'm talking about when, <laughs> when I think about things that like I don't have that are unique. I have not seen something like this. Yeah. At all. It's it's unique. And I I think I love that the skull is made up of skeletons. Yes. Like I think that's really really cool. It's glam but like spooky at the same time, which is very I, you. So I already I showed this one already, but I do have this one, which I really like as well. Um, but. A gold one would be super pretty. And like, this is something I probably would keep up all year round then. Yeah. Like this I keep for Halloween and then I take it down. But I yeah. think that I would keep this one up all yeah. year round. It's very glam. Okay. All right, hold on to it. All right, well, I'm done with this location if we want to go to Michael's. Yeah, let's go. That was fast. Perfect. Fast as fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You can't focus anywhere. <laughs> so Home Goods was as what I expected or what I was at least hoping for, which was just a nice long gondola, back uh, two aisles back to back of just full of Halloween stuff. 
Um, so it feels very promising for the next weeks to come. So we'll see. I'll definitely be doing weekly visits now, now until Halloween. And then, um, once it gets closer, I do like to do like twice a week visits because You're especially wild. I'm very wild, especially with a store like home goods, they're constantly having new things come in weekly. So, um, and with, it's not like massive amounts of the same thing. Like it's just one item here and there. So that's why I do like to just double check. I liked the vibe of the Halloween stuff too. Even though I'm more of a fall person, it wasn't like, I didn't see, what is, what is the artist that I don't like that has the handwriting that I don't like? Don, Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn. Yeah, I think it's no Ray Dunn. No Ray Dunn, at least not that I know. No, or like nothing like obnoxiously Ray Dunn. Yes. Like it actually felt each item had character like yes. it wasn't just something that was just a copy and paste a, a mug mess. and then like a spooky like yeah. it didn't say that yeah so i if it continues with what is out right now i have faith that this is going to be a really good year so we'll see yeah. we'll see i'm excited which i feel like normally they alternate like good year bad year good year bad year i agree last year was a good year though yeah so i feel like Potentially, we're on another good year. Yeah, I hope so. So, now we are on our way to Michael's. Okay, so, what are we finding? Out of everything, this one little measly aisle that we have. Yes. I would most likely probably take this home, but I'm not sure if I... I feel like him with a little plant. Not, but yeah, mm -hmm. I would do this for a plant. But I'm not sold on it because I don't have small plants like this. And it would just be hard to like maintain a living area since there's no holes and all that. I feel like a succulent. I, and I like suck at taking care of them. <laughs> so, but I really, really like this. I just don't like the way succulents look. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm not into it. This. That's a vibe. Adorable. I'd put this in my plant room and this is a little bit of a bigger hole so that I would have like a planter in here. Yeah. But I, I don't need it. I think this is really, really, really cute though, but I don't need it. But I do like him. He is cool. Kind of reminds me of like tiki vibes. Yeah. Like, like a, what am I thinking of? Have you ever played like A Crash luau. Yes. Have you ever played Crash Bandicoot? No. Oh my gosh. Like that was like my childhood video games. But like this would be like in the forest with him just like running around. Okay. Like, I love this. Um, and I already have this that I keep up all year round, which is just like a beating heart in a vase. But that's it. Anything else? Like, it's cute, but... I do like this. Like, if you put... Like, well, I don't know what you put in there. Can you put anything in there? Does Probably. it separate? Yeah, I'm sure it does. Okay. But that's cool, because it's, like... Yeah. Pretty with the colors. If I did, like, a fake... Yeah. I like that. These are really cute, but... I don't need it. Like it, but I don't need it. I think people underestimate what they can do with lighting, too. Like, yes. kind of how you've lit your house, mm -hmm. that's what really brings it all together. And, like, that's what I'm looking at, like, in that picture. Yes. The purple, just light atmosphere. She doesn't have purple walls. They're probably white. And that's, like, a light that makes it look purple. Yeah. And I you agree. can really customize your space with that. And that's not too expensive. I mean, no. it can be. Yes. But you can also do it in, like, a non expensive right. like way. Like, for my Halloween parties, everything looks like, okay, you got, like, Halloween stuff everywhere. And mm -hmm. then you turn the lights on and it's like, whoa, now it actually yes. makes sense. Yes. So, it really sure. helps to bring the atmosphere all together. These are cool for you too. I do like that. And I used to have a plant that grew like this, but it was so hard to keep alive. This is cute too. Yeah. Ooh, the inside. Really cute little candy bowl. Yeah. I like that. So, Michael's. I liked it. <laughs> yes, Michael's were, I, so I, I don't think I took any videos of the fall stuff. So if you want to see the fall aspect of it, head over to her video. She's doing a vlog right now as well. Um, as far as Halloween stuff goes, um, very, very minimum, minimal, minimum, minimal, I guess a old, minimum amount, <laughs> a minimum amount. Um, it was just one aisle of, and I feel like the aisle, like the shelves weren't even packed. I feel like even as someone who I'm not like a Halloween person, yeah. I was more interested in the home goods selection. Yes. Their selection was boring to me. Yes. It looks like a copy and paste of what I've seen year over year over year. Yeah. And I feel like they're, what it seems like with, with the stuff that they have right now, that they're going for another like dark botanical skull feel vibe, which I love, mm -hmm. but I've already bought 
items from previous years like that so I didn't feel the need to buy anything but there was yeah. still like if you haven't bought stuff for the previous years there were a couple of cute items that I would 100% recommend you getting that I would have out all year round like the skull planter like I would 100% do that um or like the little like Groot skull looking one I really like that one as well but I think the hanging one was my favorite along with yeah. the thing with the like color it wasn't colorful but it was a glass with like a holographic color yeah. to it I think that, that was you really can, pretty yeah I'm excited to see in the next month or so what they're going to come out with but I can see where they're headed cute but nothing that I'm like jumping for at the moment so we'll see yeah so now we're gonna head over to the at home store and see what they have let's go from previous years love it looks like they're bringing that back again another thing that I've gotten from previous years I have this one as well so a lot more um, not really new things also these as well I have those they have more of these this is actually where I've gotten my previous skeletons from that I dress up if you've watched my Halloween video my haunted house they have them here at home the at-home store so that's perfect give me one margarita let <laughs> <laughs> me get right give me one margarita <laughs> <laughs> give me two margaritas <laughs> okay. I need what are like technical terms for those areas <laughs> I'm gonna open my Elvis. Oh, <laughs> like how cute is this little two-headed guy? He's cute. Oh, so precious. <laughs> the sweetest thing. That's so sweet. He usually isn't like this. <laughs> he must not like you. I really do like this though. Very cute. Not for eighty dollars though. I... That's eighty dollars. Yeah, I've got a poop maybe. So at home store surprisingly like it was a mix of it looks like they're really starting to pump things out um but okay so random a few years ago 2020 they literally had like aisles and I remember it was like five aisles of Halloween like the entire middle store and I feel like since then they've really cut it back but um right now all they have is like a middle section of all as you see like the boneyard just like bone skeletons that I really, really like. Those are super fun to add into literally anything, um, any part of your decor in the house. So I love that they still continue to, to put that out because past years of like things that I've had, you'll be able to find that again this year. So I really like that. Um, and then the little aisle that they have so far, it's just things that, again, I've had from previous years, which is nice for people who, you know, if you see it and you miss the chance, the you know the past years that um you get it for this year so I really like that but again it was nothing that I wanted to buy because I either already had it or I just wasn't interested so or they had they have like things that you already have but like 
like the Shein version. <laughs> yeah, like, and there were things that I liked the idea, but I, not the actual quality of the product. So it was kind of like, I want it, yeah. but I'm not going to spend the money on it because I'd just rather save. Yeah, there were some things that, like, the can the candle trio it was like 70 something dollars. It's like, I wouldn't pay for that no. for that price. Like, no. some things, like, could be cute or, you know, we like them, but, like, not for the price. For sure. If money, I don't know. I wouldn't even say if money was an option because, or if money wasn't an option. Is that the word? If money was, money wasn't an issue. What an issue. If money wasn't an issue, I still probably wouldn't buy some of the things just because lately I've been really trying to hone in on good quality and you can tell when some things are just fast manufactured, but doesn't take away that it still looks cool. So yeah, I'm excited to come back to see if they fill up with any new stuff, but right now it seems like some previous years so they also had a lot of foliage but i wouldn't recommend their foliage because i feel like it looks like shit yeah like but, we were talking earlier if you're going to go for foliage hobby lobby mm -hmm. or at least from today because we're not going to go to hobby lobby today um michael's, michael's. yeah they had like a, had a really good selection and they had foliage for like your vibe too they yeah. had like a lot of like purples and blacks and like yeah yeah so it's it's trinkling it's they're they're getting it you know everything's coming in so it's excited exciting but i think out of everything today the most uh exciting to me was home goods which is always for me just because it's hand-picked items and they're just like random and it's a little bit more quality and then you're getting a little bit of a discount because it's from past stores or past years or whatever and it's so i think like you're not gonna find that anywhere else i f i feel like no, i don't see sure. any of that stuff here no you nothing from nothing that you saw at home goods today you saw at the at home store or michael's so it was very unique yeah. my favorite was michael's just because i'm the fall girl i'm a fall girl yeah again i didn't show any of the fall stuff so if you are more of a fall person i would head over to her channel to look at her video because there was a lot of a lot of fall stuff going on too so we got a perfect mix of both i'm very very happy i think we did it wasn't like yeah. overwhelming one or the other i don't no. think and i think because michael's was so fall heavy yeah. like it balanced out the other two stores i, I agree <laughs> i agree but i think my focus from here on out is going to be more towards home goods so i'm still going to trickle in to see what the other stores have to offer but i'm going to be visiting home goods more often i'm just actually going to end the video here because i thought i was going to haul a bunch of stuff i did and, and i did it you got one so thing. i got one thing so i'm just going to do that here we love this too um from home goods of course i love that they always take good care of your if they like to wrap it nice they want it they want to see it go home nicely. They wrap it in swaddling clothes. But I did get this. She wasn't going to let me walk out of the store without it. And I'm so glad that you'd forced me to do it. <laughs> Pretty because much. I, it was the only one in there, first of all. It was. And I just love, I'm a gold lover and I'm a skull lover. And I just love the, the detail that's in this. The gold like you have flake the, glitter. Yeah, you have the gold skulls around here. You have a gold skull that is made of skeletons. It's not just skulls, but there's skeletons in there too. And I think that's really cool. And I also am a glam girl and I love the glitter. But I mean, for 15 bucks, and this is something that I will keep out all year round just because it's my vibe. It's a skull, it's gold, it's gold. And yeah, I think it's really pretty to look at. So I'll just sneak it in somewhere. But I'm, I'm happy I love about that. that. I literally said today I wasn't going to go anywhere or buy anything unless it felt felt right felt, felt special yeah or that i haven't seen something like that around and i haven't seen something like this around so i'm glad we each got one thing one we special did. thing uh, but yeah that was our okay. trip for today so i'm excited again just to continue to see what they have you know coming out if they do watch it's like this is it there's like a little bit more stuff and they're like we're not no, doing okay. it this year <laughs> there will be way more like literally if we come back in two weeks yeah i'm sure it's gonna be like through up yes because last year i think we came first week of august yeah um so that's in two weeks yeah <laughs> so we'll see but if you like content like this and you want to see more um vlogging for the fall halloween especially more halloween um let me know in the comments down below and um I'll definitely be doing a little bit more probably short style form content with the updates. So if you want stuff like that, I can definitely do that too. And then if you haven't seen, I have some DIYs coming out. 
Um, so stay tuned for those. Thank you so much for coming along. I hope you had a fun time. I know that we did. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Let her know down below that you want to see day in the life vlogs for her, from her. I love probably never have it. <laughs> Don't ask me to do it. Don't ask me to do it unless it's Halloween related. Um, like, bitch, yeah. I need to see your workout routine. I need to see a, what I eat in the day. I need to see, follow me as a makeup artist. I need to see. Okay, if you guys want to see more vlogs. My now. period routine because I'm literally down all day and this is what I do to like okay. help. Like, we need to see it all. We can do that. But yes, that is. pressured. <laughs> No, because I'm talking this out. <laughs> it's my video. Don't cut it out. <laughs> oh my god.